So I was at the restaurant the other day here in Hong Kong with my girlfriend, and I saw these two massive rice cookers with stickers plastered all over them. And I knew it'd be a cool little project to do, and also to show you how to put stickers and decals onto objects inside Cinema 4D and with the latest Redshift Render 3.5 which lets you do material stacking in a really easy way. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, we're inside Photoshop and we're going to create our first sticker. And in creating a new file, I recommend sticking to a one-to-one -one ratio. In this case, I've got a thousand by thousand pixels. And that is because it's going to make it easier to manipulate later. And I'm going to drag in one of our Nike logos, make it a little bit smaller, turn off our background. And what we want to do now is create a little white border around the Nike sign in order to make it look like a sticker in real life. So pressing W to select the magic wand tool, right click to select inverse and going to select, modify, expand and I'm going to expand it by 25 pixels and pressing the G tool to bring up the filler tool and I'm going to fill it white. Oh, sorry, before that, create a new layer, drag it underneath and apply. Deselect it and I'm going to fill up this part here and I'm going to just clean up the edges a little bit. Okay, now that we're done, I'm going to export it as a PNG and save it as Nike. Now, jumping into Cinema 4D, I've already got my rice cooker set up here. It's just a free model that I downloaded from Turbo Squid. Okay, so let's create our first sticker material. So going on to create, materials, material, double click it to bring up the node editor. And I'm going to press C on my keyboard to bring up the texture node. And on the path, I'm going to import our Nike sticker that we just made. And pressing C again, I'm going to bring up a color splitter. And we want to apply that into our input and under out a which stands for alpha i'm going to connect it to our opacity and i'm going to connect our texture to our diffuse color and voila we have our first nike sticker so i'm going to drag it onto our uh, body surface here and while having it selected on the tag we want to change UVW mapping to flat. On the side, we want it to be front and turn off our tiling. And under coordinates, I'm going to make this smaller. And this is why I suggested a one-to-one -one ratio earlier, because if it was, let's say, a two-to-one ratio, you will have to adjust this accordingly. Maybe the Y would have to be 100 or vice versa. So keeping it one-to-one -one really makes this process a lot easier. So um, now that we have our sticker onto our surface here, uh, while selecting the uh, texture mode, we can now manipulate where it is. So bringing up the rotation, I can rotate it and also making it go up and down. And now if we zoom in to our sticker here, you'll see that it doesn't really have any depth. It's just kind of lying flat onto our surface here. So we want to actually create a bit of thickness on our sticker to create a sense of realism. So going back onto our texture here, we want to press C again to bring up a bump map and connect our alpha again to our input and connect our output onto our bump map. And now you see that we actually have a very subtle uh, kind of thickness and shadow casting onto our surface here. And this really helps sell that sticker effect. Okay, let's go back to our RS camera and I'm going to duplicate this texture 
and I'm going to replace this with a sticker that I made earlier. Let's say this 7-Eleven one. Yes, okay. And I'm going to drag it onto our body surface again and repeat that same sequence. Make it smaller. And here we have our second sticker on it. Okay, so I've skipped ahead and added a few more stickers onto our rice cooker here. And if you want to apply lots and lots of stickers like I do, you eventually run into the problem where you reach the limit of what Redshift allows you to do. So currently I have our base plastic material and six stickers applied to it. And if we want to apply a seventh one right now, you see that it breaks our texture. So I've actually uh, created a little workaround for this situation right here while creating this project. And I'm going to show you. So what I want to do is duplicate our surface here, delete all our textures. And I'm going to now, uh, actually first, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So going on to coordinates, I'm going to make this slightly bigger. In this case, 1.01, so it's barely noticeable. And I'm going to create a new material which is completely transparent. So going onto overall opacity, and I'm going to drag it all the way to black so that now it's an invisible texture and apply it to our body here. And now if we want to drag our Casio logo onto it, apply the same settings as before, you'll see that now we're able to kind of create a workaround uh, to this six sticker limit. Okay, so uh, I hope that was useful. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you do too. Send me a DM on Instagram if you made something from this tutorial and uh, yeah, happy creating.